Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfect Snails where medicine makes perfect sense. Today we have a very quick review about niacin. If you want anything, watch my previous videos. We have talked about niacin in details, but today it's just very quick. Niacin is a vitamin. Vitamins are essentials. Vitamins are cofactors. Vitamins aid in metabolism. Vitamin B3 is water soluble, therefore deficiency is more likely. The deficiency of B3 is called pellagra. The three Ds, diarrhea, dermatitis, dementia. If you want to add the fourth D, death. B3 is the same as niacin, the same as nicotinic acid, the same as nicotinamide. Do not confuse nicotinic acid with nicotine. Niacin has two functions, one has nothing to do with the other. At a lower dose, it's a vitamin. At a higher dose, it's an anti-hyperlipidemic drug. So you know this is similar to what? Freaking aspirin. At a low dose, it's anti Platelet. At a high dose, it's anti-inflammatory. In many locations, bread is fortified with niacin. Please don't forget that niacin can come from tryptophan, but that's going to be a problem in patients who have carcinoid syndrome. Niacin is important for the oxyreductases. Uses of niacin is treatment of pellagra and treatment of hyperlipidemia. At a high dose, it has lots of side effects, which are peculiar to the high dose, including hyperglycemia, hyperuricemia, as well as flushing. How do you prevent flushing? Give aspirin. What kind of aspirin? The high dose, 325 milligram of aspirin. When? 30 minutes before or after, before giving the flipping niacin. And I have a mnemonic about niacin use for hyperlipidemia. Indirect cofactor for redox reactions by giving us the NAD and the NADP. What are the sources of niacin? Natural and artificial natural meat, fruits, vegetables, seed, grain, cereals, tryptophan containing food, artificial enriched food, and vitamin B complex supplements that you get from the pharmacy. The most common cause of vitamin B3 deficiency worldwide is a strict corn based diet because it lacks niacin and tryptophan. You eat niacin, tryptophan, etc., they end up as NAD and NADP. These are important for the oxyreductases. You eat meat, fish, etc., they are rich in niacin. NAD and NADP absorbed as nicotinamide and nicotinic acid enter into the liver. Nicotinamide, nicotinic acid, they will give you NAD and NADP. They are helpful in the oxyreductases. These three enzymes are very important because they need five cofactors. So if you have niacin deficiency, these enzymes are gonna cry. Niacin, baby, NAD and NADP, these are important for metabolism. Metabolism is an active process. Therefore, the more metabolically active you are as a cell, the more affected you are from niacin deficiency. That's why pellagra, 3Ds, diarrhea, dermatitis, dementia, because these three tissues are metabolically active. The enzymes that need NADP and NAD were discussed before in this playlist called biochemistry. When you go to McDonald's to get a burger, the burger has three things. First, the bread, the bun, that's carbohydrate. Then the cheese, that's a freaking fat. And then the patty or the meat, this is protein. Whether you eat carbohydrate, fat, or protein, they end up as acetyl-CoA. Enter into the TCA cycle. NAD is becoming NADH. Capture that H, pump the H in the electron transport chain. Hashtag proton pumping, convert the ADP into ATP, now you have energy, money. This is the lovely process of glycolysis, you eat carbohydrate, glucose becomes pyruvate, gives you 2NADH, pyruvate becomes acetyl-CoA, will give you 2NADH, and then acetyl-CoA enter the TCA cycle, give you 6NADHs and 2FADH2. All of them will enter in the, the ETC, electron transport chain. Why? Because we need those protons to participate in the proton pumping and give us ATP. Don't forget that the pyruvate dehydrogenase needs not only NAD but five cofactors. After glycolysis, you have the TCA cycle, acetyl-CoA, citrate, isocitrate, alpha-ketoglutarate, succinyl-CoA, succinate, fumarate, malate, oxaloacetate, back to acetyl-CoA. One enzyme requires FAD, succinate dehydrogenase. Three enzymes require NAD, isocitrate dehydrogenase, alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase, and malate dehydrogenase. When you have the H, they will end up in the ATC to give you ATP. After the TCA cycle, you need to go to the electron transport chain. Great. How do you do it? You keep pumping proton. You see that H? Yep, this is called proton pumping. You pump the proton, man. You pump the proton, you pump, and then the protons are going to accumulate. Positive charges together, repulsion. They repel each other. Boom, hydrogen in. ADP plus B equals ATP. Who said biochemistry is hard? Deficiency of vitamin B3 equals pellagra, which literally means raw skin. Your skin has been seized. 
Latin is doozy. What are the causes of pellagra, primary and secondary, primary decrease in take of niacin and of tryptophan, malnutrition, abject poverty, alcoholism, anorexia? Secondary, the intake is okay, but you have other problems, including malabsorption syndromes, carcinoid syndrome, heart nub disease, bariatric surgery, dialysis, and drugs, including the famous isoniazid. Why does carcinoid syndrome cause niacin deficiency? It was discussed in previous videos. INH can cause pellagra by inhibiting vitamin B6 and decreasing the PLP. All of these medications can inhibit the conversion of tryptophan to niacin causing pellagra. Does that mean that every patient? No, it doesn't mean every patient, but there is a risk. Heart nub disease, autosomal recessive. You have deficiency of the carrier protein of the neutral amino acids such as tryptophan. You cannot absorb tryptophan. You cannot reabsorb tryptophan. You have deficiency of tryptophan, deficiency of niacin, pellagra, diarrhea, dermatitis, dementia. Pellagra baby, prevalence wherever there is abject poverty. Symptoms, diarrhea, dermatitis, dementia, final death, stomatitis can happen with vitamin B2 or vitamin B3. Of course, glossitis equals red tongue. Can you tell me more about dermatitis? Absolutely. freaking lutely It's photosensitive dermatitis. Translation, it affects the areas that are exposed to sunlight. A classic exam question is to give you a patient, and this patient is completely naked, which is inappropriate, and then you'll find the photosensitivity, the rash, in areas that are not covered by the bikini. So arms, legs, it's gonna sparing this area and this area in a female. Of course, it's gonna involve the face. How do you know that this is photosensitive rash? Because it's sparing the areas that are covered by clothes. This rash is usually hyperpigmented and it's usually symmetrical on the right side, the same as the left side. However, if the patient works as a driver, like a truck driver, Uber driver, Lyft driver, and if the patient is from the UK, Japan, Australia, or India, the dermatitis will be on the right side of their face. But if they are from any other country, the rash will be on the left side of their face. But I don't understand why. It's because in the former countries, people drive on the left side of the road. So the sun will hit you on the right side of your face. But in the latter countries, people drive on the right side of the road. So the sun will hit you on the left side. Because you are sitting on the left side. The steering wheel is on the left side. So the sun is gonna hit the left side of your body because you are sitting next to the window. We need to start using that organ inside the vault of our skulls. Patients' lives are in jeopardy. Niacin deficiency, diagnosis, history and physical, malnourished, alcoholic, anorexic, etc. Labs, decreased urine level of N-methylnicotinamide and other tests, including measuring the RBC, NAD to NADP ratio. Treatment, if the patient lacks niacin, give the patient niacin and try to correct the underlying cause. Don't forget the most common cause of thiamine deficiency, white refined rice. The most common cause of niacin deficiency, strict corn-based diet. The niacin mnemonic was discussed in the previous video. Why tortillas are doozy from a medical standpoint was discussed in a previous video. There are examples of vitamin deficiency that can lead to a vitamin deficiency, vitamin deficiency that can lead to a mineral deficiency, vitamin that needs another vitamin in order to exist in the first place. Free cardiac pharmacology video is waiting for you. If you want to get the entire course of cardiac pharmacology, it's available at medicosuperfectionist.com. Use the promo code CARDIOFARM50 to get a 50% discount until the end of March. In the next video, we'll talk about vitamin B4. There is no such thing as vitamin B4. We'll talk about vitamin B5. So please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. Support me here or here. You can get my premium courses here. Thank you so much for watching. This is Medical Superfectionist, where medicine makes perfect sense. Stay happy. Study hard. Be safe. Until next time.